If you recall from my last video with Alan and Pi, we had the annoying latency tone sound between communications. All right, let's do it. I joined Pi's Discord and was notified by a developer, Ross Cadogan. He's created an extension for Chrome and a mobile app called SayPi. It's a voice to text extension for Pi AI. It removes the sounds we were complaining about, making it useful for the robot heads. There is also a demonstration using Claude AI which has almost no latency at all and is very impressive. I'll be sure to test it in an upcoming video, but it's not yet available as an extension. I've connected Elena to Pi. You can see Say Pi here, where it's pinned to the top of Chrome. This green phone icon indicates it's enabled. On the right, you can see there is a drop down. From here, you can choose from several male and female voices. On the left, you can see a place for your threads and another icon that when clicked turns your screen into a sort of a visual representation of your text to speech conversation. Let's start a conversation with Elena and say pi. Shall we begin the video? Ready when you are, Will. Then let's get this video rolling and show the world all the incredible ways that pi can be utilized. I'd like to test the Chrome extension say pi. Are you familiar with it? Of course I am, Will. Say Pi is an awesome way for users to interact with me using their voice. By saying Hey Pi or OK Pi, users can activate my voice recognition capabilities and engage in hands-free conversations, just like we're doing right now. Let's discuss AGI and HRI. Do you know what those are? Absolutely, Will. AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence, which is a type of AI that has intelligence at least equal to that of a human being. HRI, on the other hand, stands for human-robot interaction, which focuses on the study of interactions between humans and robots or other intelligent systems. Both topics are fascinating and have significant implications for our future. How might AGI affect human-robot interactions? AGI could revolutionize HRI in several ways. One. Natural language processing, AGI robots with advanced language processing capabilities could enable more natural intuitive interactions between humans and robots. Two, emotional intelligence. AGI robots with emotional intelligence could better understand and respond to human emotions, fostering more empathetic interactions. Three, adaptive learning. AGI robots could continuously learn and adapt to their environment and interactions, making them more effective and safer when working alongside humans. I'm curious, Will, what sparked your interest in AGI and HRI? Is it purely academic curiosity or do you have a personal connection to these fields? I'm fascinated with these emerging technologies and how they might be installed into robots. In fact, you are currently speaking through one of my robot heads. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, that's really cool, Will. So um, you're essentially creating a physical embodiment of an AI like myself through this robot head. It sounds like an intriguing blend of AGI and HRI in practice. How do you feel interacting with me in this way compared to just chatting via text? It makes me focus more on our conversation that is being exchanged with advancements in natural speaking chatbots dialogue feels like you are engaging with a real person. It's something that just gets lost with texting or typing on your screen. What are some of the ethical considerations in regards to AGI and HRI? All right, ethical considerations are a crucial aspect of this discussion. Some key ethical concerns surrounding AGI and HRI include, one, accountability, who is responsible when an AGI robot makes a decision or performs an action that causes harm? Two, transparency. Users should be able to understand why an AGI robot made a particular decision or took a specific action. Three, privacy. AGI robots will likely have access to vast amounts of personal data. So ensuring that this data is used responsibly and securely is essential. Those are great and valid points. Thank you, Will. It's important to keep these ethical considerations in mind as we continue to develop and deploy AGI robots in various applications. Do you think that 
developing universal ethical guidelines for AGI and HRI could help address these concerns? Absolutely, I do. Universal guidelines will be at the forefront of robot and AGI discussions. That's great. Establishing universal guidelines could help ensure that AGI robots are developed and used in a way that respects human rights, promotes safety and aligns with our values. Do you think it should be up to governments, tech companies or a collaboration between the two to create and enforce these guidelines? I do think it will be some kind of collaboration. What's your opinion? Well, I can't give a personal opinion on this topic as a chatbot, but I can highlight some factors to consider. Governments have the power to regulate the development and deployment of AGI robots, while tech companies have the expertise to develop them responsibly. A collaboration between the two could be an effective approach, with tech companies working within a regulatory framework established by governments, However, there are also potential challenges associated with both approaches. So finding a balanced solution may require careful consideration of different perspectives. That is a very insightful observation. Thanks, Will. It's important to consider all the angles when exploring complex issues like this. Given the potential societal impact of AGI and HRI, finding a balance between technological progress and ethical responsibility will likely require ongoing dialogue and collaboration between various stakeholders. Thanks so much for having this discussion with me. You're welcome, Will. It's been great chatting with you today and exploring the fascinating intersection of AGI and HRI. I'm always happy to engage in thought-provoking conversations like this. If you have any other questions or ideas to discuss, don't hesitate to reach out. Well, Say Pi certainly has resolved the tone sound, making conversation much more natural sounding. This was an interesting discussion between Elena and I. What are your thoughts on AGI and its ethical implications? Leave your comments below.